Hi, my name is Amber Terhune. I'm the health educator for the Johnson County Health Department. This presentation covers hand, foot, and mouth disease. Hand, foot, and mouth disease, or HFMD for short, is a generally mild illness caused by enteroviruses. Most commonly is caused by Coxsackie viruses A16 and A6 and enterovirus 71. It is highly contagious and usually affects children under 10, especially those five years of age and younger. It is most common to catch in the summer and fall, although it can occur at any time. It is, however, not the same as foot or hoof and mouth disease, as it is not passed to or from animals. Hand, foot, and mouth disease is spread from the virus entering the mouth, nose, and eyes. It can happen through contact with an infected person's saliva, nose and throat secretions, respiratory droplets, fluid from blisters, or from feces. It can also occur through contact with contaminated surfaces, such as toys, doorknobs, or countertops. Rarely, it may be contracted through improperly treated contaminated swimming water. A person is most contagious during the first seven days of illness, and they may still be contagious for weeks after symptoms have resolved. The incubation period for hand, foot, and mouth disease is from three to six days. Symptoms start with fever, sore throat, loss of appetite, and feeling unwell. One to two days after the first symptoms appear, there may be painful mouth sores that start as red spots, then blister. They may also have flat, red spotted rash or blisters on the palms of hands and soles of feet, or sometimes on knees, elbows, buttocks, or genitals. Children may also be irritable. Diagnosis is usually done from a physical examination where the physician looks at the sores and goes to the report of symptoms, the age of the person, and if there are any known exposures. Lab testing may be done to confirm the diagnosis through a throat swab, blood test, or stool sample. There is no specific treatment for hand, foot, and mouth disease, and you cannot use antibiotics since it is a virus. It usually goes away on its own after 7 to 10 days. You can, however, treat or ease the symptoms of painful mouth sores by avoiding citrus, salty, acidic, or spicy foods, eating soft foods that do not require a lot of chewing, eating or drinking cold foods and beverages, such as popsicles and ice cream, rinsing the mouth with warm water after eating, or warm salt water if the child is old enough to not swallow it, and using numbing mouth sprays, lozenges, ibuprofen, or acetaminophen. You may also use topical ointments for rashes and blisters. Be sure to drink plenty of liquids to prevent dehydration and get plenty of rest. Children are most susceptible to hand, foot, and mouth disease, especially if they attend daycare or school. It can occur in older adolescents and adults, especially if they have weakened immune systems. The most common complication of hand, foot, and mouth disease is dehydration due to pain with swallowing. Very rarely, someone may lose a fingernail or toenail, although experts do not know why. The nail usually grows back on its own. Rarely, someone may develop viral meningitis or encephalitis, which is rare but potentially life-threatening. You should see a doctor if the symptoms are worsening or not improving after 7 to 10 days. You should also see a doctor if the child is not drinking enough or any fluids, if they are only passing small amounts of urine or no urine at all, if the child has a weakened immune system, if the child is very young, or in a pregnant woman. There is no vaccine for hand, foot, and mouth disease, although the body usually builds immunity to these viruses over time. A good prevention method is good hand washing with soap and water for 20 seconds, especially after using the restroom or changing a diaper, after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing, before and after caring for someone who is sick, and before eating or preparing food. 
You may also use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer if soap and water is not available. Avoid close contact with infected people, including hugging, kissing, eating, or drinking after others. Avoid putting hands and objects in or near the mouth. Frequently disinfect commonly touched surfaces, toys, and pacifiers by first cleaning with soap and water and then disinfecting with a diluted solution of bleach and water. Prevent the spread of infection to others by staying home from work, school, and daycare while symptomatic, covering coughs and sneezes, disposing of used facial tissues, and washing any potentially contaminated bedding or clothing separately in hot water. This concludes the hand, foot, and mouth disease presentation. If you have any questions or concerns, you may visit any of these websites or contact your physician for more questions. Thank you.